Hello guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to LitCode. In this video, we're going to learn one more concept in hooks. Okay, so if you go to our hooks file, the class name is my hooks. So here you can select we have before hook, we have after, we have before step and after step. So we have like four hooks. Can I have multiple hooks with the same notation? Yes, definitely you can have. Okay. For example, let's say that uh, we are going to write one more function like public void uh, and it's going to be like your before scenario uh, one and then followed by of course duplicate method doesn't allow within the class so i'm just using like before scenario one and here i'm going to add some sysout statement okay so let's say that i am in before scenario one okay so just to understand like we have multiple hooks okay now let's go to a runner class i'm going to run only one test and i'm going to run this let's see what happens okay so here you can select i am in uh before scenario that sysout statement we got and of course the browser got launched that means like both the before hooks are working okay and we have failure because of the assertion failure which is fine uh, maybe you can fix that let's go to our add to cart and here i'm going to make it like greater than zero so there won't be any failure okay but the concept here is multiple hooks right so we are we know that okay we can write multiple like you can have like one more one more one more as well which is fine but now here this before scenario runs once it is basically running before this before scenario okay so in test ng we know that if we have like multiple accurate test annotation you can probably add the priority tag to uh like to change the execution order we can do something like that in cucumber as well and it is known as order for example here i can give like order and i can say like one okay so if i mouse hover on this order okay so he is basically says like the default order is 10,000 why it's 10,000 I'm not sure um, okay let's make it like this okay so here I also I'm going to give the order and it's going to be like your two okay uh, okay let's make it like this two and this one okay so basically we are expecting this to run first and then it is it should run first okay so just for confirmation I'm going to add one more this out statement and i'm going to say like i am in this before scenario not the one okay now let's go to our runner file and i'm going to run as stng test so here you can select like it's basically we have changed the order in previous execution it was like uh before scenario one now it's like the before scenario the launching the browser once that is done we'll able to see like um the before scenario one okay so this is how we have to change we can change the order of an hooks okay um one more thing is also there like uh which is very handy like um, for example let's go to this application right so here you can select whenever i do the login i'm adding some book okay assume that once my uh i'm just doing like verification of adding a product to the cart i'm not going to do the checkout okay so i just want don't want to stack up all the books one by one right so what can i do i can do the cleanup data cleanup right so usually like when we do the testing and at the end of the test we do the cleanup okay so here very simple we have to just click on this clear cart and uh, that's it right now i'm going to write that as part of my hook okay so like whenever i say like i want to execute this particular test i want to run this particular hook how can we do that with the help of tagging okay so let's go and write a function here so i'm going to write like public void and i'm going to say like clean up and i'm going to uh, give this say annotations like after um so i want to execute this after a scenario and here i'm going to name it like uh, probably like clean cut okay something like this which is meaningful okay so here i have annotation with the name called clean cut okay now here within this what we are going to write we are going to write the steps to do the cleanup okay so for example what i have to do i have to first navigate to the 
cart right so i have added the books to the cart now i have to navigate to the cart so let's go and inspect those elements so it's going to be very really easy so this is my cart which has a button like something like this uh, we don't have css we have xpath which is this makes sense to me so i'm just going to give like click action and that's it and i have to import the buy so Control shift o to do the import and once i clicked on this i have to click on this clear card right so let's go and inspect this guy so here we can see like um uh we don't have text text is basically within the span tag so i can take this and i can modify this like i want to click on that particular button not this text okay so i'm just focusing on the parent so here i can select driver dot find element and then followed by by dot xpath the value and the simple function click okay so that's it pretty much cool now once we click on this clear cut here you can see like we got some um, notification probably you can handle that or else you can do the assert this one like shopping cart is empty okay so here we can say like we have a tag name called uh mat cart title we want to fetch the text so i'll use the get text function here and this is going to return me a string and i'm going to write the assert like assert then followed by assert equals and i can say like this text should be the value here right so okay and that's it so this is basically my actual the first argument is actual and this is my expected one okay now it might take a little bit to load i think um so it is a better way to better to write the web driver weight condition but i think we have the implicit weight as well so it should work fine let's go and check that okay now one more thing we have to do let's go to our add to cart feature and login dot feature okay in the login dot feature we are of course just checking whether we are able to log in successful or not we are not handling any books to add to the cart or checking the cart right so for this scenarios i don't want to execute what i want to do is i want to execute for a particular feature for example in this scenario i am adding all the books right so here i will go and add a tag called clean clean okay that's it uh not clean actually like within the hooks we have the like clear cut so here i think we should have the at the rate as well let's copy and go to here and here i'm going to add this. okay now whenever uh that scenario is going to run it's going to execute the hook file as well let's go and check that so Okay, so it just cleared the cart and it got passed right so that's a very simple thing now um, basically we run with the tag called at the red test which has a username as autonic kc right so let's go and do the man uh, manual logging just to check or else of course we can see the reporter as well but i will come back to that in a moment let's go and do the login and here you can see like our cart is basically zero okay which is very cool so this is how we have to uh, use the hooks to do certain actions based on your particular scenario okay so for example if i go and run my uh, runner file with the login okay i'm just going to remove this tags okay now i'm going to execute all the test okay so what should happen in this case in the sense like since login doesn't have the tag called clear cut it will not go and execute those particular test whereas in this particular same same for this but here in that to cut since we have this clean cut whether we are running this test data or this prod data both belongs to this particular guy right so both belong to this particular guy called uh, clear cut the scenario outline so it will execute from here at the right after okay so um that's it okay now let's go to our runner file i'm going to execute all the test let's see what happens okay so here you can see like it's basically running for the login test and there 
it's not executing any of the um test case any of the uh, clear cut related scenarios okay so here you can select uh, all the tests got passed let me show you the reporter so i'm going to navigate to this particular project show in system uh, come on show in system explorer and then brought by the reports cucumber reports and we have this index.html i think we have added uh, before and after step uh, yeah so a lot of screenshot will be there but here you can select we have like prod clean cart prod clean cart prod clean cart. all the things run and here in the scenario it's basically run only the scenario so there is nothing related to the clear cut and just to give you one quick screenshot so here you can select zero which is going to do the uh autonic ac login and here we got like uh it added the book to the cart yeah so here it's add to cart and uh yeah the cart is like one now um okay but we are not getting the screenshot of that particular uh the scenario cleanup okay maybe we can add this scenario and we can do the like embed function there also so we'll get the scenario okay uh but yeah i'm just going to do the login and probably show you so if i go and refresh this one autony case here you can see like zero and if i show you the other account which is autony they're also zero okay so we can confirm that our script is working fine anyways you can check yourself you don't trust me okay so that's it very simple concept in the hooks file we can have like multiple at the rate after at the rate before and we can give either the uh, order or the uh, tag name okay so this is also like similar tagging concept okay if you want to add a screenshot of this particular thing probably you can do that just get the scenario here and give like uh, this uh, this two lines of code and it should attach the screenshot okay so that's it for this video if i have any queries feel free to ask me in the comments i'll be happy to reply see you in the next one very soon Ta -da, bye bye take care